Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. It stems from, go ahead. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. Not setting by, so they chose to follow the Greek fashions of the people, of the white folks, Greeks, and not the honor of their own fathers. Go ahead. But liking the glory of the Grecians, best of all. But enjoyed the glory of the heathens, best of all. Louis Vuitton belt, Yeezys, ugly ass $400 sneakers. Hideous, $400. For a pair of sneakers from a crazy Negro. Read. By reason whereof, sore calamity came. Listen, he is very, he is crazy. He's a broken man. I'm not saying how to insult him. He is a spiritually, psychologically, and spiritually broken man, Kanye West. He's broken. He's damaged. Read. By reason whereof, sore calamity came upon them. By reason what? By reason whereof! The reason was we adored and admired the Greeks. Today you call Americans, or British, or French, or Portuguese, or Spaniards. Those are Greeks, or Romans, same people. Go ahead. So calamity came upon them! So because of us worshipping the white man the ground he walks on, so calamity fell upon us as a people. Go ahead. For they had them to be their enemies. They were, and, they were our enemies, go ahead. And Avengers! Whose custom they followed so earnestly. Whose what? Whose custom they followed so earnestly. Whose custom we follow so earnestly. With such strong desire. We admire the nations. We love them. They're our world. That's why when white people kill y'all, what do y'all say? Black Lives Matter. Who are you telling that to? Each other? Because you don't share that sentiment with each other. Y'all want the white man to tell you your lives matter. But your lives don't matter among yourselves. You whore your woman out. You whore your men out. You kill each other. You steal from each other. You murder each other. So black lives don't matter to you. You want black lives to matter to anybody else but you. Let that go. So, as I said earlier, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion are a prime example of why a father is very much necessary in the household. Not necessarily because they were themselves weren't raised in fatherless household. I don't know their background. Megan Thee Stallion's father died when she, when he was, when she was 15. So she had a father figure in her life, but he wasn't there long enough, apparently. And Cardi B, I believe, was raised by a single mother, I believe. But them... As celebrities, they should not be celebrities at all. The first celebrity of a woman should be her father and her mother. Those should be your celebrities, not TV. They call these celebrities stars and idols. They're not stars at all. They're not idols at all. They're definitely idols. Because y'all worship them. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29. Come on. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. The Bible says do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. How do you prostitute your daughter? How do you do that? It's very simple. You allow her to go out on dates. Dating is prostitution. Flat out. A real father will not allow his daughter to sleep around from man to man. Right. A real father, not some nigga. I'm talking about fathers, not Negroes that are retarded and stupid as hell and shouldn't be alive. But a real brother who has a care for his daughter, as myself, 
will not allow their daughter to date, hopping from penis to penis. Scientifically speaking, when a, black, when a woman lays with a man, that DNA stays in there. It doesn't leave. You know that. It stays. In fact, it goes right to their brain, actually. It goes right to the brain. The DNA, remember to the man, go right into the woman's brain. Not us. We're good. Women are the receivers. We're the, we're the givers. Y'all seem to believe in your mind that y'all are equal to us. You are not. Right. At all. Especially sexually. But the black woman has been trained to believe that she can go out and get multiple Ds and there's no side effects behind it. No, there is. Many, like right now. Even right as we speak. Most likely there's one right now talking that will not stop talking that pretty much is an example of what I'm talking about. That's right. In terms of multiple penises. Yeah. And psycho and mental, you know, mental issues. When y'all sleep around a bunch of men, that man's imprint is left inside of you. Especially if you have mad abortions. Especially if you have had many abortions. When a black, when a man lets off inside of you, his DNA is let off inside of you also. A part of him is in you. So when you lay around a bunch of brothers, you got a bunch of niggas in you. That's what somebody out here is crazy now. We don't gotta deal with that, man. We don't deal with that. We're the givers, y'all are the receivers. That's how God, that's why, that's how God made it to be. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Do not cause what? Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. How do you do that? When you allow her to sleep around, go to clubs, dress half naked, hang out all hours of the night, walk up and down the street all day long, all, all hour, night long. These are, these are households of neglectful parents. I was, I can't deny it because I was, I have a family, I have family members like that. Kids do whatever they want to do. I've seen girls age, half my age hang out later than me. 11, 12, 9 years old, outside at midnight. Doing what? What's the 10 year old doing outside at midnight? What the hell are you doing? Going to buy liquor? Why are you out here? Right. Then the black woman says, I don't feel safe. The black man doesn't protect us. But y'all act like us. They want us to protect you. Y'all gangster. Savage, bougie, ratchet, right? Ain't that y'all soul? So what protection do y'all need if y'all so gangster? That's right. Bring it on. Y'all don't want equality. Y'all want privilege. Y'all want speciality. Right. You learn that's a reinforced habit right. from the white woman. That's where I got that from. Because in the 60s, y'all were loyal. In the plantations, they're respectful. Right. Loving, caring. But in the 60s, they start to put the drugs in, putting niggas in jail for high, for, for years. Gave y'all public assistance. The hell with the man, you got welfare, nigga. The hell with the man, you got weak now. You got welfare. Who needs a man? You got food stamps, you got EBT. If the man ain't around, you get more money. So y'all have been deceived. Y'all have been brainwashed. What did Malcolm say? Bamboozled. Run amok, let astray, hoodwinked. That's what happened. Y'all can't make up your minds. Cause you don't have a mind. Your mind is television. I'm gonna show y'all influence in the Bible. You have a, what is referred to as a negative influence and you have what is referred to as a pure or positive influence. Yeah. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, and verse 24. Come on. Yeah. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Wisdom is God's laws. The same laws from your Sunday church that the pastor says is done away with, which is foolish as hell, 
The, read it again. What does God say about wisdom? For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Than any movements. Wisdom is the most moving movement. No, it's the most powerful movement. Go ahead. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. Go ahead. For she is the breath of the power of God. Go ahead. Breath the power of God. Go ahead. And a pure influence. What is wisdom? God's laws? And a pure influence. What is God's laws? A pure influence. Go ahead. Flowing from the glory of the Almighty. So God's laws, God's wisdom is a pure influence. Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion are, in, are an impure influence. They are pawns. They are tools used by our enemies to teach our sisters to be whores. And they themselves are also brainwashed. So I don't, I don't even, I can't even fault them because they're brainwashed too. I can't blame Cardi B and Nicki Minaj because they're damaged as well. They're lost as well. They're deceived as well and don't even understand it. But you gotta make that money, as y'all say. I gotta get paid. I gotta make this money. What you gonna do, you gonna pay my bills? That's y'all always say. But then y'all claim independence, so I don't understand how that works. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.